And you're sharing data or something? Yes, with we're sharing all the data with Israel. So it's a good deal. Very good deal for, for NASA and Israel. And it really uh, opens up collaboration between NASA and Israel, which hadn't happened on the scale before. So I'm Stuart Nozet. I'm the principal investigator for MINI-RF on LRO, and I'm from the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston. And the question we have from Brian from Arizona is, are there resources on the moon? Where are they? Are they easy to find? And that's what MINI-RF is all about. We're a radar, so we can see in the dark. And the most important thing that we think we'd like to look for on the moon is water ice, which collects in the dark. Uh, the moon has no atmosphere, and in most places on the moon, the sun comes up and would heat the surface so that any water or ice would disappear. However, there are some areas uh, near the pole which are permanently in darkness. By permanently, we mean for billions of years, and so anything that hits the moon uh, that gives off a little bit of water vapor, eventually the water vapor would collect there, and over many, many billions of years into sizable deposits of ice. 